Hey guys, this is Torner, and today we are going to be looking at these characters here. We're going to be looking at the teaser image that was sent through. Now, I want to make sure that you guys know that I received this a little bit early thanks to being a part of the Envoy program because I wanted to make sure that you guys know as well that I'm doing my guesses by myself. <laughs> uh, I want to know that, you know, you guys know that I am, you know, making sure that I'm kind of, you know, everything's above board. You guys know what characters I'm kind of guessing here and everything like that. I don't know if they're out there leaked or anything. Who knows? But let's get started um, because, you know, I, I think I've just basically figured them out. Uh, to me, at least they're all pretty obvious. Or at least four of these were pretty obvious. So we'll start over here with uh, this character here. Now, this one's interesting because of the fact that the colors are slightly different. Typically with the colors, they go more with like, you know, a bit of their powers, some parts of their suit and stuff. But for this, they went red. I would have more expected to see a purple here, but you know, they've already kind of leaked this character so we can guess it. It's a uh, Nightcrawler. Um, Nightcrawler typically has a lot of red on his outfit as well, as you can see here. It fits the image that they showed as well there. Um, yeah, it, I don't know. There's not much to kind of talk about that one because it, it's Nightcrawler. Um, let's go over to this one here on the far right as well because that's another pretty easy one here. It's because they've already shown it, which is the Symbiote Surfer. So you can see here, the helmet here matches exactly, the sc uh, spikes on the side here. Um, this is pretty pretty kind of simple one there. I, I don't think anyone's kind of guessing that that's wrong or anything. I guess the color here is coming more from his eyes or something. Who knows? Uh, let's go here into the middle because again, I think this one's a pretty simple one. Um, so what I'm basing this off of is one, the color in the background that you can see up here. Uh, the color is very much like this gray, kind of gray black kind of color. You can see here the raised kind of um, uh, collar as well as, you know, looking at the colors and looking at even the hairstyle. This hairstyle here um, is very much reminding me of, uh, where is he? Sunspot. Um, Sunspot, uh, original new mutant character, um, and eventually, you know, has had a, a big storyline recently with, uh, X-Men Red, uh, where he's kind of serving, uh, alongside, uh, um, Storm on Arakoa. Uh, his powers are, you know, he, he's, uh power solar radiation and everything like that. But typically, you know, he's he's very much looking like he's got like, you know, the dark skin um, from using his powers, the yellow around him. They've all got yellow borders as well, which is a little bit different. Uh, I found that that's, you know, pretty different compared to what they did previously. They've got like a silvery border over here, but then you've got like, you know, mostly gold borders. But looking at this kind of um, like the, the rays kind of thing here, if you look up Sunspot, uh, you know, he's got the, he's got like this high collary kind of thing here, especially when he's kind of wearing like his X-Men outfit. And, you know, we know that this is going to be the extreme X-Men and that suit just, you know, suits really well. I, I think that, you know, the, the raised collar is very much kind of screaming to me, at least sunspot. Maybe it's not, you, you know, I might potentially be off with that one, but to me, at least that's kind of, screaming out sunspot even like looking at the hair the hair very much reminds me of sunspot as well which you know i don't know i, I know you guys know that i i watch a lot of marvel stuff and read a lot of marvel stuff i i don't know if it's kind of you know when i when i say it a lot i mean a lot a lot <laughs> the hair like look at this like even if you look at sunspot typically because of the way he's illustrated he already is a silhouette but look at the hair here compared to the hair here. It, it's not a one for one match, but it's very similar. All right, so from there, we can kind of deduct two different things. Two different teams coming, um, at least. So we've got, you know, our extreme X-Men over here. These three characters have to be extreme X-Men because the one in the middle, they, they never like break up a team. Now, obviously there's, you know, there's chances that that's four reworks on the team and then, you know, Nightcrawl is the only one, but they did say there was other new characters. So, and, you know, another new character coming, Sunspot, you know, would make a lot of sense to kind of be on that team there. So we'll say that these three characters here are Extreme X-Men and these two characters over here are Symbiotes. Now, why do I say Symbiotes? Because if you have a look here, like, I, I, I know, um, if you zoom in, they were not great at, like, silhouetting this one you can see up here see these up here and then you can he see here underneath the wings as well or underneath the the 
uh, armpits. This is Gwenum. There's no doubt in my mind that this is Gwenum. Um, if you have a look at, like, I'll bring up the Archer one because I think that's the pro easiest one to be able to see it on. You can see, like, when she's illustrated, or this one over here, especially, like, you know, it, I don't know. I play a lot of, um, a lot of Marvel Snap, and this is my, my go-to Gwen. Um, but you can see, like, the, up here, the very much, the yellow kind of very much matches, uh, sorry, the white very much matches up the, to these teeth up here. You can also see that it is a bit more rugged around the edges, but also the way that Gwenum is shown, typically, she's got this big hood on, and it's typically swished off to the side kind of thing. Like, look at this. If you, if you want to argue, look, this is, like, almost exactly what I'm talking about here. Um... You know, it's got the swish off to the side. You can see the swish off to the side here. It's got the white up here. You can see a bit of the raggedness up here, where the raggedness up there. I don't know. That's to me, Gwenum. Gwenum. So we've got Nightcrawler. We've got Sunspot. We've got Gwenum. We've got uh, Symbiote Surfer here. That leaves us with this one character. He's gonna ex going to be an extreme X-Men character on the team. So what can we kind of notice about him? First of all, you know, he's got kind of shoulder pads up here and stuff like that, or like something on his arm. Uh, he's got tech, you can see here, like a, a um, antenna here, uh, something up here, kind of like a um, an aiming device or something. Now this to me is screaming out Forge. Now this picture here probably doesn't tell you too much about it. But if we have a look at this, first of all, you can see here, the, the head kind of just keeps going down. That's to me, long hair. This is, a, this is a mullet. Classic Aussie mullet. Now, Forge isn't Aussie. Um, Forge is uh, Indian. I, I just call it an Aussie mullet because we have so many people with mullets here. It's ridiculous. Um, but you can see in like most, like a, a, like half the time, he has this really long hair, typically kind of mulletish, or, you know, sometimes it's tied back and stuff. Um, very much around the tech. So you can see here, and here, this is him in like the battle suit, but you can see there very much around the tech, you've got like a classic kind of super sane um, power measurement device there. Um, this is Jim Lee. So this is like, this is like classic, classic. So where's the blue coming from? You've got the blue under here and the blue here. They've got, he's got very much around the blue kind of on his, on his outfit. Um, there has been times where he's just, worn like very much around the blue kind of thing uh where was it i was talking about the silver sorry more like that but like there's potential like you know there could be like more the crook cohen um energy forge here where he's got like you know the the crook cohen biotech stuff now this is really cool um so why these characters first of all symbiotes you know we've got symbiote surfer coming Gwenum is one of the biggest symbiotes and people love Ghost Spider. Um, you know, another, you know, version of Gwen, I think was inevitable. And, you know, when we've got the whole incursion thing going on and pulling different characters from the multiverse and stuff, Gwenum, I think makes a lot of sense. Sunspot's heavily featured within X-Men 97, which is coming out and Extreme X-Men seems to be kind of a tie into that. Forge is also going to be featured in that. It's also been hinted at in game previously. Nightcrawl is one of people's favorite characters of all time. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm off. Which, which ones do you think I'm off about? I, I think that, you know, I think this is a home run. Hit it out of the park. We got this. I hope you guys had a great day. Goodbye.